With your Monday evening forecast, I'm First Alert 25 Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines. Things pretty quiet around these parts. It's probably going to stay that way around here as we head through this week as we are going to be seeing quite a bit of sunshine across our area. As you head down to the southeast, though, we have a couple of tropical systems. This is Tropical Storm Gamma, and that one is really struggling to hang on. But the one we're really going to have to watch is Delta down here across parts of the Caribbean. That will continue to ride off to the northwest. I'll have the latest coming up. And we are trapping, trapping or tracking, <laughs> trapping the tropics. And we are tracking the tropics around here, but it looks like the Gulf of Mexico is pretty quiet as gamma is really starting to die out. The only thunderstorm activity is well away from the center. You would think that's it, right? Well, no, it's way down here, the actual center of circulation. And I do think gamma is going to become a memory here as we press on through this week. But one thing we'll have to keep a closer eye on is delta. Delta will continue to strengthen here across the Caribbean as it pushes off toward the northwest. It is expected to become a hurricane as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico and then it should curve over into Louisiana the way it looks right now. This may change a little bit in coming days, so we will continue to track that closely. But right now, it looks like most of the effects with Delta as a hurricane should be over into Louisiana and not Texas unless we see a shift in the models. And of course, we will continue to track that for you. Your future track showing that we will have showers moving toward New Orleans as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But then as we get into our Wednesday going into Thursday, it looks like most of the cloud cover may try to start moving in toward the Brazos Valley, but we will probably see a lot of the moisture stay to the south and east of central Texas. Something we will keep an eye on though. And tonight temperatures will be falling down into the upper 50s and low 60s for us. So it is going to be a pretty cool evening out there, especially when we're supposed to be right around 61 this time of year, so just slightly below normal, nowhere near the record low. And then as we head into tomorrow, highs will make it into the 80s. It is going to be a very warm day here across the region. And over the next seven days, it's going to be quite warm with temperatures at or slightly above average this week. Look at the weekend. We could see lower 90s, and there are some models even a bit warmer than that. So taking a look at your first alert 10-day forecast, lots of 80s this week, most of the moisture staying away from us. And then as we move into next week, maybe an isolated storm threat on Monday.